All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Nick, Nick Sacco. I am the pronunciation teacher from Connect English Language Institute. We are a network of language schools in San Diego, California. Uh, we are doing the pronunciation class for the first time at the La Jolla campus. Every eight weeks, we move it to a new campus of Connect English. We just did it at the Mission Valley campus. Now we're doing it at the La Jolla campus with these excellent students. And then in eight weeks, we'll move it to our Pacific Beach campus. So it's a fun class, and we want everybody to enjoy it. So much so that we are showing it all around the world for free on Facebook Live video. So if you are watching the class right now around the world, I'd like you to please uh, click the share button, okay? Share the class with your friends. It's totally free, and it's a class that you can learn from, your friends can learn from it, okay? So please share the class. Make sure that everybody around the world can learn with Connect English, okay? All right, let's get started. So, uh, my name is Nick. I'm from California, and we have an excellent group of students here from many different countries. We've got Altan from Turkey. Yes. We've got Pepper from Taiwan. We've got Emily from China. We've got uh, Jingru from China. Carlos from Mexico. Which city in Mexico? Veracruz. Excellent. All right. Viva Veracruz, right? Viva Veracruz. Okay. We've got Ana Laura from Italy, Yuka from Japan, and Dehmi from Saudi Arabia. So we have an excellent mix of different languages in the class, and that means that we have all different accents and all different challenges with pronunciation. Salud. Okay. Uh, so it's important today to think of a few things before we start. Uh, let's talk about the rules of my pronunciation class. Okay. Number one rule of my pronunciation class is uncross your arms. Uncross them, Pepper. Okay. I want you guys to be ready to feel the pronunciation. Okay. This is a very physical class because I want you to remember where the sound is coming from when you say it, okay? So that's rule number one, okay? Rule number two is do not worry about mistakes, okay? It's okay to make mistakes. I have chosen difficult vocabulary because I want to challenge you with the hard words to pronounce, okay? And also we could do rule number three, which is don't worry so much about listening, okay? Your listening is going to be based on your native language. So for example, Carlos is going to hear some sounds differently from the way that Pepper will hear some sounds, okay? Ana Laura will hear some words differently because of the native language, okay? So in Italian, or I'm sorry, in, in Spanish, for example, um, the E and the uh sound, they sound pretty similar for Spanish speakers. So we're going to work on the differences today. If you focus on your ears and what you hear, Many of these words will sound the same. You say, Nick, I don't hear the difference. That's okay. You want to feel the difference today. Ah, ah, uh, uh. Okay, and when you feel the difference, your pronunciation is improving. Okay? Are we ready? Okay. Before we start the lesson, we always start with a high world. Are you guys ready? Okay, we're going to do it on three. One, two, three. High, high world. world. Come on, we can do better than that. Come on, I think everybody was a little afraid to do it there. Okay, one more time. On the count of three, we're going to say hi world, nice and loudly. One, two, three. Hi world. That's better. All right, very good. So if you're watching around the world, please type in the comments where you are watching from. Hello from Taipei, Taiwan. Hello from Izmir, Turkey. Hello from Bologna, Italy. Hello from uh, Mecca, Saudi Arabia. Type into the comments, hello from your country. Okay, it's always fun to see which countries everyone is watching from, which cities also. Uh, also, I want to give a shout out to all the teachers who are watching this class. A lot of teachers around the world watch the pronunciation class and use it to teach their students. Please do. It's fun to see the class going all around the world and helping people. Let's start. Why did I select these 10 words? Why these 10? Why? Because they are similar. Very good, Ana Laura. That is exactly it. They're similar. Some students say, oh no, they're the same. Mm -hmm. They're not the same. They are similar. A small difference in the sound makes a big difference in what, uh, what the words mean. Okay? So if we're not careful about the little sounds, we're going to cause confusion. When we're talking to people, if we say the wrong word, people are like, I don't understand what you meant. 
I, I'm confused. So the little differences in sound make a big difference in the meaning of the words. Okay? You all ready? Let's start the first one. This one here. Very basic verb. Probably our favorite verb, right? <laughs> Carlos, is this one of your favorite verbs? Could be. Yeah, yeah. Demi, is this one of your favorite verbs? Not a lot. Not a lot. You don't do enough of it, right? Yeah, it doesn't happen enough, right? And then this one is a little bit less common. We'll talk about this one. This one is if you're walking and the floor is wet. Imagine there's water on the floor or there is ice on the floor of your kitchen or your bathroom and you're, whoa, okay, to slip, okay? Now, for this one also, what fruit is famous for making us slip? Banana. Banana, banana. exactly. If you have played Super Mario Kart, yeah. the video game, they throw the banana and you slip, okay? So, slip is the verb for you're walking, you're walking, and whoa, okay? So, you have to be very careful. This is a dangerous verb, okay? Let's talk about the differences of pronunciation. First, this one here. This one here, imagine your front teeth. Right here, okay. okay. Everyone think about your front teeth, right here, okay? This is your front teeth. Okay. This is the top of your mouth, right here. Okay. And this is your tongue. For this one here, your tongue is high in your mouth. Sleep. Say it with us. Sleep. Sleep. It's really easy, right? This sound that e sound exists in many languages. It exists in Japanese, it exists in Spanish, it exists in Arabic. It is the e e e sound with your tongue high in your mouth. And just a little bit of air. Think about the air in your mouth. Not very much. Just a little bit of air. It's easy, okay? Everybody say it with me one more time. Sleep. Sleep. Yeah, easy sound, right? Very natural sound. Simple. This one is more difficult because this sound really only exists in English, maybe a few other languages, but this is a, an English sound. For this one, again, think about your front teeth again. Okay, think about your teeth right here. Okay, okay. Again, think about the top of your mouth again. For this one, your tongue is low and you have to breathe more. Slurp. Very good, Debbie. That's good. You can try it for me. Slurp. Yeah. Really good job. That's often a very difficult one for Japanese students, and you did it perfectly. Good job. Low tongue, breathe out. <sighs> Slip. I tell many students, close your eyes and do this sound. Low tongue, breathe out. <sighs> Slip. 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 Yeah, good. Think about your tongue. Your tongue needs to be low in your mouth. Breathe out. If your tongue is high, you're going to say sleep. We want to say slip. Yeah. And a lot of try it for me. Give me slip. Slip. Really good. I saw that your tongue was low. You were breathing out. Slip. Emily, try it for me. Slip. Good job. I saw the tongue low. Breathing out. Slip. Okay. All right. Alton, your turn for low tongue. Slip. Slip. Pretty good. It's a uh, uh, uh. So push your tongue more forward. Uh. Try it again. Slip. That's better. Really good. Really good. Pepper, your turn for slip. Really good job, man. Uh, and uh, Juno, give it a try. Low tongue. Slip. Really good job. I really heard the difference. That's it. Demi, try it for me. Slip. Really good. Now do the easy one, Demi. Sleep. Yeah. Think about your tongue. High tongue for sleep. Low tongue for slip. Carlos, give it a try. Give me the easy one first. Sleep. Yeah, and now the more difficult one. Low tongue slip. Really good pronunciation. That was perfect. Yuka, your turn again. Give me the high tongue sleep. Sleep. Yeah, and now open up the low tongue slip. Really good. I heard the difference. I hope you can feel the difference, right? Think about where your tongue is. Jingru, try it for me again. The easy one. Sleep. Yeah, and now low tongue slip. slip. Really good difference. I hear the difference really well, okay? Emily, your turn again. Easy one, sleep. sleep. Yeah, and now low tongue slip. slip. Really good, okay? This is a very important one because if we say the wrong verb to someone, it can be a big problem, okay? If you're walking in the kitchen and someone says, be careful, don't sleep, 
and your friend says, and you say, don't worry, I'm not tired, and then you walk in, whoa, and you fall down and you hurt your back, or you hurt your wrist, you hurt your head, because your friend told you not to sleep, okay, like, oh, don't worry, I, I slept for eight hours last night, I'm not sleepy, you're, and your friend should say, don't slip, and you say, oh, okay, I will walk carefully, okay, I don't want to slip. Okay, so it's very important to do this pronunciation right because if you do the pronunciation wrong, you can hurt your friend. Okay, also if we say, uh, you know, don't sleep on the floor, you say, don't worry, I, I want to sleep on a bed. Okay, <laughs> so we have to be very careful with this one. Let's do it as a class, everybody together. One, two, three, sleep. Sleep. And now low tongue, breathe out. One, two, three, sleep. Sleep. Really good. I hear the difference, and I want you to think about. High tongue, low tongue. Many students say, Nick, I don't really hear the difference. That's okay. Okay, that's all right. Focus for now on the feeling of your tongue. Eh, eh, eh. And you're all doing a really good job with it. Okay? All right. The next one, hog. hog. Yeah, what does this word mean? What does hog mean? Pig. Yeah, exactly, Emily. It's a pig. It's another word for a pig. Okay? So... Right? And so hog is just another word for the same animal. But this one, what does this mean? We all know this one, right? Aww. Okay. So this one also, both of these are nouns, and they can cause major confusion if you pronounce them wrong. You say, hey, I met my friend at the airport, and I gave him a hog. <laughs> at the airport? You gave your friend a hog? They let the hog into the airport? Oh, I gave my friend a hug at the airport. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. When I saw my girlfriend after her vacation, after she came back, uh, I gave her a big hog. I, you gave your girlfriend a pig? I don't understand. Oh, I gave my girlfriend a hug. Okay. All right. So for this one here, this is the easy sound. Everybody please put up one finger. Everybody put one finger up. Okay. And touch right here. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. This is a really easy sound. Ah. ah. Like officer, uh, stop, uh, watch, uh, okay, uh, 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 lock, uh, uh, uh. very easy. This sound exists in every language, okay? Imagine when you get into the shower after a long day, uh, okay? It's the same sound, hog, okay? Super easy, it's from the back and the middle of your throat, uh, uh, uh. This one, though, the verb of affection for someone, oh, I'm so happy to see dad okay <laughs> this one here is important everyone please put up your fist okay you guys ready this one is hug <laughs> hug emily you're doing it good job Demi, give it a try hug that's perfect pronunciation okay do you give it a try hug that's it i need a hug okay i need a hug all time give it a try give me hug Hug. That's it. More pressure, please. Hug. Hug. That's it. Did you see his head move when he did it? Because he's putting the pressure. You're doing it right, okay? Emily, try it. Hug. Hug. That's it. Pepper, your turn. Hug. Hug. That's it. Hug me. I'm stressed out. Okay? All right. Anna Laura, your turn. Hug. Hug. That's it. I heard the pressure. Yuka, your turn. Hug. Hug. That's it. Carlos, hug. Hug. That's it. The pressure is important. If you say, um, oh, I need a hog, it's been a long day. Like, well, I can cook you some bacon, okay? <laughs> oh, I need a hug, it's been a long day, right? You have that long day, bad grade on your test, car problems, traffic on the freeway. And you come home and you see your wife, you see your husband, you say, I need a hug, okay? But if you say, I need a hog, your husband or wife will say, that's an interesting request. Hmm. <laughs> Um, I can get you uh, a horse, but not a hobby. Okay, so it's very important to do the pressure in your stomach. Okay, uh, uh, uh. the pressure matters a lot. Okay, let's do them together as a class. Let's do the easy one. Put up that finger. Touch right here. Hog. 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 Really good. No pressure, right? Uh, uh, uh. Super easy. This one, the pressure matters. One, two, three. Hug. 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 Good job, Junior. I see you put in the fist. Oh, very good job. It's good pronunciation. Okay, the next one, okay, this one is a noun of, of course, to help you when you're sick, okay? This one is a city in Wisconsin, okay? So, of course, uh, they're not going to be confused very often, but if we pronounce them badly, maybe, okay? This one here is 
Teeth together, medicine. Uh, uh, medicine. medicine. That's it, Carlos. I see it. Good job with the teeth together, medicine. Medicine. Good job, Alton. I see it. Medicine. Okay. Medicine. Keep those teeth together when you say medicine. Okay. Medicine. When we talk about the city in Wisconsin, you're gonna open more. Take two fingers, please. Everybody, take two fingers. Touch right here, the back of your throat, but the sides. Ah. ah. Madison. Madison. Yeah, I took a trip to Madison. Okay. Madison. It's a nice city, Madison. Okay. Madison. And then medicine, teeth medicine. together. Uh, uh, uh. Medicine is almost the same sound, but teeth together more. Medicine. 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 You got it, Emily. That's really good. I hear it. Very good job. Medicine. Okay. And then let's do this one again. Those two fingers open big for Madison. 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 Good job. Pepper, give it a try. Give me Madison. Madison. Really good job. Now give me Medicine. Medicine. Really good. I heard the difference and I saw the difference. Good job, man. Carlos, your turn for first. Medicine. Medicine. Very good. And Madison. Madison. Very nice. And Demi, your turn for medicine. Medicine. Very good. And now open big for Madison. Madison. Really good job. Okay. All right. Excellent. Uh, if you say, hey, where'd your brother go? Oh, he went into Madison. He drove into the city. Where did your brother go? He went into medicine. He became a doctor. Okay. <laughs> so there's a big difference, right? We have to be careful about the pronunciation. This is the more difficult one. Just remember, teeth together, medicine. Now, some students say, Nick, do I really have to say medicine when I talk to the pharmacist? I need some medicine, the teacher will, and the pharmacist will say, for your teeth? Okay. You say, in fact, what's just important is don't open. Don't open. Just medicine. Medicine. Very lazy sound. Medicine. This one takes more energy, more effort. Ah, medicine. Okay. More energy here. But this one is, I need medicine. Okay. Medicine. Medicine. Okay, let's do it as a class one more time, everybody. One, two, three, medicine. 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 And now Madison. Madison. Really good. I hear the difference. I see the difference. Good job. This one is difficult for our Asian language speakers, East Asian, Japanese, Korean, Mandarin, because we have two different ones. Now, this is, uh, of course, an adjective for like the feeling of a pillow. Okay, or maybe the feeling of your socks. Mm, soft. This one here, though, is a verb in the past tense. I went to the ocean with my board, and I surfed. Okay, but let's start with the easy one. This one is the same sound as hog. Everybody put up one finger again. Okay, touch here. Ah, ah, ah. Soft. 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 My socks are soft. Ah. Easy sound, right? We've already practiced it. We did it right here. You all did a great job. But this one takes more effort, okay? This one here, we need your lips, your lips, think about your lips, forward and open. Err. Er. Emily, that's perfect, okay? Err. Er. Served. 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 That's it, Anna Laura, I heard it, okay? So you're gonna try it for me? Served. Served. Good job, now push the lips forward and open Served. more. Err. Er. That's it, go ahead, and one more time, served. Served. That sounds Served. super good. Pepper, your turn for served. No, I want to see more of the lips. Uh, you're doing the smile version, and that's happy. Ah, but it's not soft, it's err. That's better. I can see the lips doing the right thing. Forward and open. Err. Served. That's good job. That's good. That's a good job. All right, that means your turn for served. Good job. I can see the lips forward and open. Good job. Yuka, your turn served. Now, I want to see more of the lips forward and open, please. Err. That's better. Served. That's it. And now give me the easy one, Yuka. Soft. Soft. Yeah. Okay. Really good job. Carlos, your turn for the easy one. Soft. Soft. Yeah. And now lips forward and open. Served. Served. That's great. I really saw it and I really heard it. Oops. Wait. I really saw it and I really heard it. I pointed it at the wrong part of my face. I saw it and I heard it. Ridiculous, Nick. Okay. Alton, your turn for the easy one. Soft. Soft. Yeah. And now served. Served. Yeah, good job. Now more with the lips forward and open. Err. That's good. I really saw the improvement. I saw the imp <laughs> I saw the improvement and I heard the improvement. Good job. Emily, you did a great job already. Give me serve. And now soft. Really good. Everybody, I'm proud of everybody for that one. That's difficult for the people who speak East Asian languages, but you all did a great job with it and everyone else too. Okay, this next one is one of my favorite ones to teach because students frequently say, Nick. I don't know if somebody's telling me yes or no. Yeah, yeah. Is, did they say yes or no for this one? 
So we have to practice a little tiny trick for this one, okay? Let's do the easy one first. This one is can. Right through your nose, a really soft sound. I can. Yeah, I can. Positive, okay? Hey, can you speak Japanese? Yes, I can. Good job. The soft sound through your nose, all right? Jingru, can you speak Mandarin? Can. I can. Yeah, soft sound through your nose. Elton, your turn. Can you speak Turkish? Yes, I can. Good job. Soft sound through the nose. Demi, can you speak uh, Arabic? Yes, I can. Good job. Soft sound through your nose. Very, very good. Okay? So that's the easy one. That's the positive one. Yeah. Can. I can. Mm, yeah. Okay? This one's more difficult. Most students are listening for the t at the end of it. But there is no t on this one in English. I like to put the line there. Okay? Because this one is just can. 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 That's it, Ana Laura. That's perfect. Okay? <laughs> we don't say the final T in spoken English, okay? There's a sentence I like to make. I want to eat meat, okay? I want to eat meat. No, we don't say that in English. We say I want to eat meat, okay? I want to eat meat. The final T is just a H instead, okay? So if I say this and that, I'm not going to say that, I'm going to say that. Yeah. That's it, Carlos, you just did it perfectly. The final T is a H instead, okay? If you listen to native speakers of English now, when you go out after class and you're listening at the supermarket, list supermarket, okay? <laughs> and you listen to those words with the final T, it's not a T, it's a H, okay? So let's practice this one together. This one is can. can. That's it, Ana Laura. One more time. Can. can. That's right. Yuka, your turn. Can. can. That's right. Okay. Uh, Jingru, give it a try. Can. can. That's really good. Okay. Pepper, your turn. Can. can. That's right. And Emily, your turn. Can. can. One more time. Can. That's right. And a little stronger, a little huh at the end. I can. can. One more time, Emily. Can. Okay, good. Carlos, I can. I can. That's good. Alton, your turn. Can. Can. That's right. And now Alton, give me the easy one. Can. can. Yeah. Can. Feel that difference? Can. I can. I can. <laughs> okay. So you have to do a little pressure down here again. I can't. I can't do it. Okay. So uh, Emily, can you speak Spanish? No, I can't. Oh, no, no, I can't? I can't. That's it. Good job. The huh at the end. Okay. And uh, Carlos, can you speak Russian? No, I can't. The good job. Okay, can you speak Spanish? I can. Good. Soft N for I can. Yeah, I can. I can't speak French. Okay, I can't. I don't know it. Okay. Pepper, can you, um, can you, um, ride a motorcycle? Yes, I can. Good job. Oh, okay, cool. And, uh, can you, um, fly an airplane? No, I can't. Okay, good job. I can't <laughs> fly an airplane, but I can ride a motorcycle. Okay. So can, think about it, it's very positive. Yeah, I can. Through your nose. This one is very negative, right? I can't. Okay, so think about the, huh, no, not going to do it. I can't help you, okay? All right, Demi, your turn for the soft, easy one. I can. I can. And now I can't. I can't. Very good pronunciation. Let's do it as a class together. Everybody, you ready? One, two, three, easy one. I can. I can. Yeah, and one, two, three, difficult one. I can't. I can't. Very good. If you're trying at home, if you're watching, okay, feel that little pressure. I can't. I can. Okay. All right. Whew. We're almost ready to do the activity. Let's do a quick review before the end of before the end of the, the presentation. Let's do the high tongue, little bit of air, sleep. Sleep. And now low tongue, breathe out, slip. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Next one here. Single finger, middle ear, throat. Ha. Ah. Ah. Yeah. And now pressure in your stomach. Hug. 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 Yeah. More pressure on Laura. Hug. 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 Yeah. Hug me. I'm stressed hug. out. I need a hug. It's been a long day. Hug. Okay. Next one here. Teeth together. Medicine. 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 Good. And now this one here. The city in Wisconsin. Madison. 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 Now when you're gonna open up. Ah, ah, ah. Like after Saturday, I'm going to Madison. Okay. Madison. 
This one here, easy sound, single finger again, soft. soft. And now this one here, lips forward and open, serve. serve. Good job. I really hear it. I can see it. That's great. That's a difficult one. Okay, the next one, nice and positive, I can. I can. I can. Yeah. And then I can. I can. I can. That's right. Oh, you all sound great. I'm excited. This is going to be a good activity. Okay, before we do the activity, I want to remind everybody, share the class. It's free. Spread it around the world. Everyone can learn with us. Okay, I'm going to give everybody a telephone number, but I'm not going to say the number. I'm going to say the words, okay? So please get a paper and a pencil ready to go. So for example, if I say hog, that means write down number two. If I say can, it means write down number zero. If I say Madison, it means write down number eight, okay? So if you're watching around the world, get ready to listen and write down the words for the, the, the numbers for us with each word. I'm giving the phone number of the Italian consulate in Los Angeles. So if Ana Laura has any problems while she is in the USA studying, uh, she can call this phone number and get help, okay? So this is the Italian consulate in Los Angeles. Everybody ready? <clears throat> Okay, the phone number of the Italian consulate in Los Angeles is slip, soft, can, Madison, hog, can. Can again. Hug. <laughs> Hog. Hog again. Okay, who's feeling confident about the phone number of the Italian consulate in Los Angeles? Who heard it? All right, Emily, what's the number? What do you think? Three one zero eight two zero zero six. Perfect. Yeah. 310-820-0622. And Laura, keep that in your pocket in case you have any passport issues while you're in the USA. The Italian consulate will help you, okay? Now, though, it is your turn. I need someone else's telephone number, okay? From uh, in the USA or from your home country or maybe mom and dad's phone number, okay? Any phone number that you can remember and give us. I'd like you to give us the number with good pronunciation. Let's start with Carlos, okay? Carlos, you're my first victim, <coughs> volunteer, okay? All right? And so, Carlos, think about either your U.S. phone number, back in Mexico, whichever you prefer. But remember, speak loudly, slowly, and clearly, okay? Let me write down the number. Take your time. Take your time. Remember, everybody, while we're waiting, share this class. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Loudly, slowly, clearly, Carlos. Madison. So. Hug. Slip. Leap. Zerg. That's it. Short numbers. Mexico has short numbers. That's true, huh? You're welcome, everybody. <laughs> okay, Alton, what did you hear, man? What do you think Carlos's phone number is? He didn't write it down? Okay, okay. Uh, Yuka, what did you hear? 8163579. Yeah, that's it. Nice job. Bingo. First try. 8163579. Good job with the hug with Madison. Okay, that was really nice and clear, okay? All right. Alton or Pepper, who wants to give the phone number next? I, I give, uh, You'll do it? Okay, Alton is a new student at Connect English. This is his first week. He's a volunteer ready to rock and roll. So remember, speak loudly, slowly, and clearly, okay? Everybody quiet down. Let's get started. Here we go. Can. Can. Slow down. Can. Can. <laughs> sleep. Can slip. Good. Hug. Hug. 
salt. Can hug. Complete? Hug. Oh, one more time. <laughs> okay. Slap. Sleep. Oh, sleep. Sleep. Yeah. Is that the end? Yes. That's a long number, dude. <laughs> All of the numbers Carlos didn't <laughs> use, Alton used. <laughs> I didn't say plus plus. <laughs> yeah. I say this zero. <laughs> but you had the country code. Yeah, I, I, you had the area code. Good job, man. Good challenge. Okay. I think I heard some good pronunciation there, too. Jingru, what did you hear? Did you hear it? Yeah. Let's try it. We'll help you. We'll see what we can do. What do you think? Zero, zero, uh, nine, zero, five, zero, five, two, two, one, zero, two, two, five. I have three differences from that. Me too. Three differences. Yeah. Demi, what did you hear, man? Zero, zero, nine, nine, five, zero, three. Two, two, one, zero, two, two, five. I have three differences from that also. I have three differences. Yeah? Okay, we might be in the same number. This is good. <laughs> Ana Laura, what did you hear? Uh, zero, zero, nine, zero, five, zero, five, two, two, one, zero, six, two, five. Ah, I have two differences from that. Ooh, I feel like I got it. Okay, I think it is zero, zero, nine, zero, five, zero, three. Two two one zero six six five. No. Oh. Okay. What's the number, Alton? What is it? My number is uh, zero zero nine zero five zero five six six one uh, zero uh, two two three. Ah. So the sixes and the twos were the problem. The sixes and the twos. Yeah. I think everything else is pretty good. The five and the three also will work on. Okay. Let's start with six and two. Remember that six and two. Put that finger up for two for ha. Ah, yeah. And I heard you do the pressure in one of them. I think you just reversed them. This one, give me the pressure, Alton. Hug! That's it. Okay. You got it. I think you just reversed it. But I heard you use the pressure in one of them, so good job. But, ah, uh, hug me! It's been a long day. Hug me if you love me. Okay. All right. And then the five and the three also are a little difficult. Remember, the easy one is the high tongue sleep. Yeah. And now the low tongue sleep. That's it. I totally heard it. Good job, man. Okay. One more person. I'll let it be a volunteer. Emily. Excellent. Remember, Emily, speak loudly, slowly, and clearly. Are you going to use your American phone number, your phone number in China? What's your American number? Okay, here we go. Loudly, slowly, clearly. Here we go. Medicine. Sleep. Medicine. Medicine. <laughs> Medicine. Calm. 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 Mm. Okay. The last one was a little difficult, but everything else was nice and strong. Okay. What do you have? Carlos, what do you think, man? I have... Eight five eight three four four two zero zero two. Differences? Some differences? Yes. Nine, yeah, nine. I have also eight five is it eight five eight? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, we got that. That's good. So we got the eight five eight, right? Good. So let's see. Yuka, what do you think? What do you have after eight five eight? Three four four two zero zero zero. Is that right? Two zero zero zero? Yeah, I heard the nine nine, yeah. So it's three four four two zero. Nine, nine. Okay, so let's talk about the zero and the nine, okay? This one, you did a good job with the zero. That was can. Yeah, and this one is can. That's it, much better. You gotta, I can't speak Japanese. I can't visit you in Los Angeles this weekend. I can't wait for Christmas. Actually, Halloween is what I'm really excited about. Okay, all right. Very good job, everybody. That's the end of the first part of the class today. We're gonna do a second part off video. But I do want to always do the end here. Thank you, everybody, for watching all around the world. This is our ceremony we do at the end of every class. Please put one arm in front of you. Everybody put out one arm like this. Okay, put out just one arm. Turn your hand like this and pat yourself on the back. <laughs> oh, you guys did a good job. Okay, so we're going to say bye world now, okay? So uh, hold on before we do. If you need more information about learning English with us in California, just go to connectenglish.edu. 
We do this class every week on Wednesday from Connect English, but I'm going to be traveling next week. I'll be in the Grand Canyon. So no class next week. After that, we'll be back. But uh, check out our website, connectenglish.edu, to get more information. Everybody ready to say bye, world? One, two, three. Bye, world. Okay. Thank you for watching today, everybody. See you again soon.